All right, guys, uh, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the Universal Audio OX and versus Turok Studio Pro 35 uh, head and the stock cabinet. All right. So, the first, before I got a OX, the my recording process is with the amp. So, uh, I have the stock cabinet and I have two microphones uh, attached with the cabinet. And then we, one is SM57, the other, other one is Rebo. And both going to the Universal Audio, Apollo TV in there, and using this console here. So, and a few plugins there, as in, uh, as you see, this is the analog preamp. So, and two channels here, all right? So, yeah, the first channel is SM57. So the second one is Reborn, it's basically uh, basic Chinese microphone, Chinese Reborn. So then first of all, let's hear how the amp is going to the DAO and how it's recording, right? Let's hear the sound. Okay, now I'm going to mute this two and let's hear. So what you hear is the direct record from the cabinet, Turak and the cabinet and, and SM57 and the Chinese Reborn, right? T-Bone microphone. So the, the brand is T-Bone and T-Bone Reborn. So this is what you hear and you have the op you have the options while you can mix both microphones here, right? So then let's hear the OX. So let's start from the beginning and let's hear the OX only. So these two channels is OX, right? Let me show setup here. So okay, you go OX. It's connecting to the Wi-Fi. And yeah, and here here is the configuration, right? So same as I'm using with my amp. So 57 is the first mic and the rebound. It's a second mic, the fam famous 121, and room microphone. So it's just giving the, the, the room spread. So basically, this is a setup. So let's hear how it sounds. This is OX only. So OX is like a white pant. Yes, what you hear is OX only. So two channel is coming from OX. Then I would like to mention something here. If you use the OX only, so you have like high ends and top ends, you hear the you record the nice good sound with the high ends and top ends. But for me and per my personal opinion and experience, then you are just missing uh, the bottom end, the, the amp sound, and the cabinet sound. But if you use the, the cabinet sound only, then you're missing some high ends and top ends and some action there. So even I use, you know, many plugins to make it brighter, to make it more chimey, but it's not giving the same sound, to be honest. So then what I found and what I realized if I mix four tracks 
so it's giving me the better sound and the sound what I'm looking for. So let's compare right now. I'm mean, switch one to the other, and then I'll open unmute the four tracks, and you can hear four tracks together and realize how it sounds. Okay. So first, let's start with the amp. Okay. Then I'll compare with OX and then uh, four tracks together. So this is the amp sound only. four tracks together okay so you have as you see here you have I mean many other options right you can adjust each volume each separate volume each channel each microphone and unlimited kind of opportunities here but let's hear how four tracks sounds together <laughs> Basically, this is how I'm recording nowadays. I'm still digging and I'm still trying to find uh, to make sound better and the better fit into my recording. So I'm still working on it. I hope you guys dig it and please leave a comment and and share your comments. I mean, what do you think about the OEX and what do you think about uh, the OEX versus the amplifier? And what do you think? I also forgot to mention that I'm using an isolation box, which I'll, I'll put a picture in the video. Then you'll see my uh, recording chain, recording setup with the microphones, right? So there's an isolation box and the cabinet inside. So I put the microphones in and I, I record like that. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you guys dig it. So see you next time. Cheers. Bye.